Hey guys, Jack here, bringing you another video, and today um, we're going to be doing a review. Now, as you can see, it's uh, going to be a bit of a different review. Normally we do trains or rolling stock, but today we're going to be doing a truck by Oxford Diecast. As you can see, it is the DAF XF105 in the revised Freightliner livery. Now, I'll um, uh, start with a bit of information about it. The DAF XF105, as you can see, is the last generation of um, DAFs. It was Euro 5 and it's a really really nice tractor unit as you can see this one is a space cab with a 6x4 no 6x2 midlift axle and I don't know I can't and uh, trying to focus on the um, see if we can find out how much power it's got it's normally in the little box under there uh, will it do it? no I don't think so but anyway um, let's get on with the review now when Oxford announced they were making these I was really excited because not only is the DAF XF one of my favourite, well it is my favourite truck ever made because I, I do um, uh, like trucks as well as trains and the DAF XF is one of my favourites um, but not only, it's also in Freightliner which is perfect for a um, model railway layout and since I was modelling a modern image layout anyway with a container terminal I just thought I've got to get one so as you can see we'll um, uh, just crack on with the review Start with the tractor unit, just remove it from the trailer, and um, as you can see, like I said earlier, it's got the revised Freightliner livery. Just take out the light a bit so you can see it a bit better. As you can see, there it is, Freightliner um, uh, livery on the side, really nice crisp branding with the yellow and uh, two tone green stripes along the side, which does look very smart. I think the old Freightliner trucks were just plain yellow with Freightliner written on them in green but this new version of it does look very very smart as you can see we've got the uh, green in the middle of the wheels nice silver painted uh, fuel tank indicators there as you can see um, uh, separately fitted mirrors and sun visors coming around to the front as you can see you've got the um, uh, green warning stripes on the bottom there's the registration plate there just try to zoom in on that AY12BCK and you've got the fog lights in, in the uh, bumper there very smart and uh, front on the DAF as you can see there's you can, there's the uh, DAF and XF badges and then you've got um, uh, Freightliner's um, uh, I guess you could say a motto underneath the uh, windscreen there saying it's time to go green there it is then you've got the um, three um, uh, window wipers up to the top of the cab you've got the Freightliner written again above the um, uh, windscreen and then the Freightliner website on the sun visor um, on the other side, it's exactly the same, except um, instead of a fuel tank, you've got um, you'll have your exhaust and your battery pot and your battery boxes and all that. And then on the back, there is a very nice um, little um, uh, textured feel on this um, uh, back plate here, where you'd uh, have to climb onto to uh, connect your airlines to your trailer. And then on the back, you've got um, uh, just the registration plate again, some more uh, tanks on the back, and then your lights as well. Oh, and there's a bit of this your um, uh, air thingy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's called, but anyway, you've got an air, like an air scoop or something on the back there. And um, space cab with the um, uh, aerodynamic deflector on the top. Does look very, very smart. So, uh, moving on to the trailer. I'll just put that down there. Um, here it is. Again, it's Freightliner Green. Really, really smart. Now, one thing you will be noticing when watching this review is where's the middle wheel set? Because all of Oxford's container trucks do come with um, five axle trailers. Well, as you'll be able to tell, here it is. This is the um, uh, middle wheel set. Now, in the UK, I'm not sure about anywhere else, but in the UK anyway, you hardly ever see container trucks with five axle trailers. Well, I haven't anywhere. So, um, to make it more realistic for the area I'm in anyway, um, I just completely removed the um, uh, wheel set. There it is. It hasn't damaged it in any way. I'll just flip the trailer over onto the bottom. So you can see that just sat in there like that. Up there, like that, with um, these um, uh, mud guards over the top. So I just took them off. Well, I took the wheel set off first and then removed the mud flaps as well. And um, uh, now it looks a lot more realistic. Put the screw in, and uh, now you, you wouldn't even think it was it'd been taken apart. So we'll just have a look at some uh, quick detail on the trailer. It's quite um, uh, as you can see, it's, there's, uh, it's not much to look at at first, but uh, then again, it's a container trailer, so there's not really going to be much to look at. As you can see, it's a triaxle with the uh, green um, 
paint in the middle of the wheels again. Uh, trail legs there with the um, uh, wheel uh, stoppers underneath. Then you've also got the um, uh, pins there, one in each corner on there. And there's also some smaller ones in the middle for uh, hauling the uh, 20 foot containers. Then on the back you've just got your registration plate lights and then the uh, combi trailer branding on the side. Which does look very very smart. Now um, uh, oh, there's some just uh, running rail uh, guards there. So when you put it all together, it does make for a very very smart truck. Just put it there now. There we are. And then, um, uh, even though it doesn't come with a container, it's all fine because I use the, um, uh, the these um, uh, Backman ones, and then you just put that on the back, and it does make for a very smart, very smart unit. So um, I'm sorry this hasn't been the uh, longest video in the world, guys, but uh, I honestly didn't plan. To, I forgot to make a video last week. Well, I didn't forget, but uh, I had so much on, I couldn't. I just didn't have any time to make a video last week. It was almost going to be like that this week, but I thought, no, I haven't uploaded uploaded for two weeks, so I'd better get one out, and it'll probably be the same again next week as well. But uh, I am going to try and do the same as this week and get something uploaded. So um, if you'd like me to do another video like this, because I've got a couple more trucks lined up, then just uh, say so in the comments or leave a like. And uh, as ever, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.